Hey everyone, I have been working on this application called as Voice Inc for the past two months and finally I'm announcing it publicly. It is a voice to text application that uses local AI models uh, in order to transcribe your voice to text almost instantly. You can see here I'm in my cursor is over here and right now it is recording and listening to me. Now I'll just stop it and it will start processing and paste all the uh, transcription over here. And it will almost get everything correct. Sometimes it may not get the spellings right, but you can also configure it to make it better. You can improve its accuracy. So this is just one example of how you can use this voicing application. The second example is you can use it as a AI assistant that I'm going to show a demo for right now. So here I have a section in my daily note called add today's plan. Now instead of writing all of my plan, I'll just trigger this application voice ink and tell it what my plan is and it will automatically write it over here. Let me show you an example. Hey, I'll tell you my plan for today. I want you to properly format it in Markdown style checkbox format. Okay. First, I have to do some research on the AI article that I'm doing today, uh, which I already have completed. Then I have to make a video, record a video on the Voice Inc application. Then after that, I have to go to college and get the admission form. After that, I'll come back and work on editing the video that I made in the morning. After that, I'll work on writing the article that I researched in the morning. And in the evening, I have to meet up with the professor. Now, I'll just stop it. And you can see here it is processing. It will take somewhere around 5 to 7 seconds and it will paste at the current cursor position. Let's see how long it takes. And depending upon how long your recording is, the time it takes will vary. And you can see here we have the all of the tasks or all of the plan for today i resource the video on voicing application it doesn't it did not get the voice ink name right and then go to college and get the admission form uh, edit the video and write the article meet up with the professor so this is another use case for this application voice ink i have been working on this application for uh, past two months uh, the first version of this application was released on october 23 and since then we have i have uh, like somewhere around 24 releases and finally I'm releasing it to everybody and announcing it publicly here. One thing that I want to add over here is that VoiceSync is only supported on Mac because it uses local AI models and Apple Silicon chips are the most suited ones for uh, running these models. That is why it is not supported on Windows or Linux. So I'll just open the VoiceSync application here. And you can see here, I have been using this application for a long time and previous, my previous data just got erased. I don't know how, but the data is from around 8 December to today, that is 24 December. And you can see here, I have been five times faster with voicing where I have recorded myself with this application for six hours, which would be equivalent to 32 hours of typing and time saved is 26 hours, which is more than one and a half hours every single day. Now I'm going to show you how you can install this application, how to configure it and how to start using it as well as the different features, advanced features of this application as well. You can go over here this site and go down. You'll need to click on download for free. You will start downloading the DMZ file. This is not available on App Store and it is not notarized by Apple. I just applied for Apple developer program, but I have not been accepted yet. You can see here, like I already have applied, but I guess it will take somewhere around one week. So till that time, the app will be not notarized, which means you will have to uh, right click on it and click on open anyway, because your device might show an warning error saying that it is not from a trusted uh, developer or something like that. Uh, and then you will need to proceed it anyway. But by the time you are watching this video, if you are a little late watching this video, then it will probably be notarized already. Once you install this application, you will be taken to this screen, the onboarding screen. You just click next, next. And here you'll need to configure certain things. First, you will need to set a keyboard shortcut that you will use in order to trigger this application. Then you will need to enable accessibility permission. Accessibility permission is required so that the text that is transcribed by the local AI will automatically be pasted at the current cursor position. Then you will need to download the local AI model and set it as a default model. So I'll set a start cut over here control space then you can enable the push to talk feature as well push to talk feature allows you to use a single key and you can keep on holding it holding the key in order to record and when you release it will uh, stop recording and start processing 
there are two options for push to talk key write option key and function key then you will need to go to this ai model section and over here okay let me just delete one of these models and here by default it will have no model selected and no transcription language as well these are the available models there are two well available models from tiny models to the large v3 turbo model download one of these models and test this application the tiny models are suited if your device is not that much powerful but it has lower accuracy but the larger models like larger v3 turbo are very accurate you can download this model from here and after downloading you will need to set the model as default model and you will see over here the default model will be selected then you can select the transcription language by default it will be auto detect but do not choose auto detect because it will sometimes cause errors select the language that you want to use it supports over 100 plus languages so i'll select english over here and then here are some dictionary items here you can add certain words that you want the ai to detect properly you can write names company names and some spellings that the ai might be getting wrong but this is limited to only 224 characters which is the limitations of these ai models then you have the transcript enhancement over here i'll just enable this over here to enable transcript enhancement you will need the grow api key if you're watching my videos from the past then i have been using the grok api key grok service for a very long time it is a free service and gives really good results so you'll need to get the grok api key from grok console you can go to grok and dev console you'll need to log in then you'll need to go to api keys and create a new api key from here okay after you get the API key from the developer console, you'll need to add it here and verify and save. If the API key is correct, it will show it is connected over here. Then here are some examples that you might add. If the transcript enhancement is doing something wrong or it is not formatting it correctly, then you can add some examples over here. Like uh, what is the input that you are giving and if the output is not coming right, you can uh, tell the AI how you want the output put to be formatted and this will train the AI model to work on this example so it will give you better results the results that you want to look like and the final one is the assistant mode by default the transcript enhancement will just enhance the given transcript it will improve the clarity it will add some proper spacing paragraphs punctuations grammar etc but this AI assistant mode will work like a chat assistant just like chat GPT you can ask it questions and it will give you back answer and to use the AI assistant mode you will need to start your recording with hey now you can ask it anything like hey what should be the best way to start your day and it will give you a, a concise answer over here and you can see here we have an answer like an AI assistant start your day with 10 to 15 minutes morning routine that includes 15 to 30 minutes earlier than usual, usual stretching drinking glass of water and getting some natural light okay so this is how you will be using the ai assistant mode you will also be able to see all of your transcript history over here if you go over here all these are all of the transcript history that i have and by default you will only see the original transcript but if you click on it it will show the enhanced version as well and you can copy any of these just like this they will be copied to clipboard also when the transcription is done it will automatically be copied to the clipboard as well if you do not want that feature you can disable that from this uh, record audio view and disable the auto copy to clipboard but i like to keep the auto copy to clipboard option on because sometimes i just need it on the clipboard i want to see what was uh, transcribed previously so uh, this is all about this application uh, you will need to provide uh, required permissions like audio permission accessibility permission uh, and download the model and start using it with the keyboard shortcut and it will be saving a lot of your time if you are a knowledge worker or if you work a lot on your computer and if your work involves a lot of writing then this app is going to solve a lot of that pain and if your typing speed is slow i don't think there is a second guessing about uh, using this application so uh, this is all for this application uh, i just forgot to talk about the pricing okay so i'll go to okay where i am where am i okay i'll go to the site here 
The pricing currently is $19 for lifetime. You will be able to use this application forever with lifetime support and all the features as well as the priority email supports. But since you are watching me on YouTube, I'll provide a discount code that will be valid till uh, 24 December. That will be valid till 31 December. You can use the code YT forever. YT forever. I'll also put it uh, in the screen so you can just copy that and add it to the uh, discount code over here. Okay, uh, you can write Y. Okay, YT forever, and it will apply 25% discount discount code and it will, it will go down to $14 so I hope that will help so this is all for this video I hope you really enjoyed this video and you will love using the voicing application thank you for watching this video till the end I hope you have a great time see you again bye